Welcome to the Aerosmith Pinball Tutorial. I am Tim Sex and I am as happy as can be. In this game, you get to uh, spin the menu as fast as you possibly can and get all these cool lights to appear on the playfield. Well, it only works if I do it one direction. So you, as you can see, this is not a normal feature of the game. This is me mashing the button as fast as I can. I'm not dropping the flipper though because of uh, stage flipping. Oh, it's fluttering a little bit. Anyhow, each mode has mode shots but it also corresponds to a super mode. Rats in the Cellar corresponds to Super Spinner. Last Child corresponds to Super Orbits. Walk This Way, Super Ramps. Same old Tong and Dance is Super Targets, all these targets on the outside. Sweet Emotion is Super Scoring. I don't know what that does yet. Uh, Dude Look Like a Lady is Super Lanes. Back in the Saddle is Super Pop Bumpers. And we're back at Rats in the Cellar. The ones I like to take right away, Rats in the Cellar, I'm gonna go for Toy Box Multi Box. Also, shooting the two shots to the left and right of the Toy Box. There's that one circle is lit right there. There we go, that's what it's supposed to do. Throw the ball into the Toy Box to get you the plunge. Also, shooting your orbits, you have to shoot both orbit shots to light, a lock for your love in an elevator multi ball. I'm gonna shoot the scoop here to get the uh, crank it up lit. There's also good points on the mode. That shot there was a million points. This shot crank it up will give me 20 more seconds of time. Give me more points. My magnet's going nuts, throwing the ball everywhere. Big aggressive save there gives me a danger. Got two toys locked. You only need three to start multi-ball. You can take up to six though. And there are some advantages to doing that. Especially for your first one where the locks are much easier to hit. The locks are always the exact same to collect, but lighting the lock changes on each subsequent multi-ball. So right now it only takes one hit each time. Light the locks. You can see I've got now five locks flashing. Up to five flashing. I've got two solid. Now this is my last shot for the mode. Because you don't have to complete rats, you just automatically, when time expires, you get one last shot. Then you can choose your next mode. Now while I work on my ball locks, I'm going to go for back in the saddle. And then when I'm ready for my multi ball, when I've got my five. Um, Lock slit. I'm gonna change it up. Oh, that was close to a backhand. I like to try to backhand the lock. I don't know if it's ever worked for me. Oh man. There's like a one way gate there that pushes up a lot. It's really hard to get the ball to stay there. You don't really nail that shot. You have a lot of chances to shoot it like that, but um. It doesn't nail it all the way in. It doesn't go in a lot. So I have to get control and shoot the lock again. So there we are. Now we've got three balls locked, and you'll see it'll say Super Pop Bumpers are completing back in the saddle mode. I can abort with the smart button or with two double flips and get more balls locked. Unlike uh, Mustang, which also has a uh, three ball up to six ball multi ball. You don't get any more points by doing it, but you have the ability to lock more balls for more playfield multiplier during the multi-ball, as the code currently stands. We're gonna go for, um, which one should I go for? We'll go for Dude Looks Like a Lady again. So I was able to complete that one last time. I just collected an extra ball, another one lit. I'm not sure if that's a bug, because I don't know why it lit. And uh, immediately drained, but that's a pretty good ball one. The mode, because it hasn't expired, will continue. Shoot again. So we're gonna try to do the soft plunge again. Nope, a little too hard. Really tricky on the new uh, slingshot there. Here's another extra ball. So I, he pulls out a ball from behind the ball. Clever animation, I guess. I don't know. I would really like the locks. 
but sadly, I'm not getting it. Shooting a shot as a combo gives you more points for it. I got two coins. You get better that you play a mode. Combos gives you more coins and more points. Shooting any one shot in the mode will light crank it up to give you the 20 seconds more time. It works like a way team on Star Trek where it makes the mode harder. Alright, what are we doing? We want the skill shot. It's too soft, so it has to make it to like a very specific guide lane in the back for that to work. That's how you're supposed to hit that shot. One coin, only 250,000 because it wasn't a combo, so everything's doubled as a combo. Too hard again. I go for a lock. Lost control. I went for the back end on the lock, which feels like it should work <laughs> a lot more than it does. So I'm going to try to shoot my center ramp to transfer. Shoot the lock shot, not the elevator shot. It feels like I'm going right in there. I can see the gate go into place. How about a post pass instead? Now, post pass isn't working too well. There we are. Alright, that's all five locks. Before I start the multi ball, I'm gonna punch this all the way around just so I don't accidentally start the multi ball. I wanna bring a mode in. The mode I wanna bring in is Sweet Emotion. Um, the reason I wanna do this is because the more balls I have in play, the more likely I'll be able to complete this mode. Because it takes 12 shots in uh, 30 seconds to start to complete it. Also, if you don't complete the mode, your progress resets on it. If I want to hit the lock better? Maybe. I could definitely hit the ramp better than uh, he can on Kiss, though. I'll, I'll take that. Lock shot, he might be better, yeah. Crank it up, after you hit one shot, you get 20 more seconds. That counts as a shot as well because the light was lit red. And this little flower here, that's telling you how many shots you've made in your mode. I've made three. I've got nine to beat the mode. If I beat the mode, I'll get super scoring, and I advance to the final wizard mode. Now we're in a six ball toy box multi ball, and everything is chaos. Um, here, I don't know, this is a lot of fun, but really what you want to do is uh, just pick off as many green and red shots here as you can. Pretty much everything's lit, so I should be getting really big value. I've had the ball save on this whole time. So, still have the ball save on. I might have gotten an add a ball, actually. Uh, which would be funny because it was already a six ball multi ball, and there's only six balls in the game. So, really, that's just a ball saver. There's a nice little jackpot shot there. Um, you can also see by hitting the toy box during toy box multi ball, I've lit the lock target again. You can see on the display, it says, look, multi-ball's over, but it's not. I am actually uh, have a two-ball multi-ball where one of the balls is locked right now for a little bit of time. Now the other ball came back into play. While the ball is locked, you're in double scoring. The more balls you lock, the more your scoring will be. So it can be triple scoring. Miss that backhand. The uh, right ramp is definitely backhandable. It's a little tricky on the forehand. It sits in a very different place than the kiss ramp. Uh, that's bad. I've got one shot left to beat the mode, and I missed it. Maybe. Yeah. I missed it. So now, what I think is a problem on this game is I have to restart the mode from the beginning again. And that gives me all those scoring opportunities. So, here, if I pick Sweet Emotion again, because why not? I have to shoot 12 shots again to beat the mode. But what's my scoring going to be? That's what I want to know. Alright, scoring resets to 300k. 
Add more time in the mode, that's a good one. Uh, crank it up is lit. So let's also focus on my orbits now and my mode. There we go, crank it up, that's up to 50 seconds now. My mode shots are going to be worth more. It changes a little bit about how the mode plays. You can see it changed the shots, now only these uh, middle shots are lit. Oh, I hit that toy box. My VIP pass is lit, I immediately used it. Short plunge leads to the slingshots being hit. There's a shot for Sweet Emotion. 800k because of a uh, crank it up bonus, adding points. One orbit shot. To light the love in an elevator multi ball. Not that orbit, the other orbit. So that light in the right orbit there, that indicates that I have a. Uh, that shot will be lit for my love in an elevator. You get a bunch of information on the screen here. I got this 43 here, I got 25 G's. I don't know what that means. My coin is at four on the right. Sub rubber ducks are yellow. I saw you followed me on Twitter. Thanks for that. All right, now every shot's lit in sweet emotion. Does that mean it's done? No, it doesn't. Sadly, it does not mean it's done. <laughs> four million for that shot. Reloading toy box because it missed. Still misses again. Uh, it's a horrible shot. 2.6 million. I'm getting good mode points. Which is why I'm surprised it lets me replay this mode from the beginning again. Well, we accidentally started multi-ball. I forgot that I hit the right order. So unfortunately, I've only I've started the multi-ball with only two seconds left in sweet emotion. So for most of the multi-ball, we're just going to see these pink arrows lit. In love in an elevator multi-ball, the way it works is a lot like Megatron multi-ball. You shoot a shot and then you have to shoot the elevator uh, to move up floors. I don't know how many floors are on this elevator. I'm not sure if it's an Otis elevator or I forget the other elevator company. So there's a shot. Going for the elevator again. The elevator shot's a lot deeper back there than it looks. Now let's uh, pop that ball up. There we are, right under the ball. Now I gotta hit another pink shot. Got the right ramp. Get a last second jackpot here. Nope, didn't work. All right. So now I've got all these things going. Now we're gonna play a fun thing where it's called playing walk this way with no pressure on you to do anything but hit ramps. Now walk this way is the super ramp mode. But when you, you start with both orbits and both ramps and walk this way, you can hit a ramp or any shot for that matter. Wow, uh, please don't end the mode. Good. Walk this way is still going. On ball two now. Oh man, I can't hit a shot. Let's get the ball. Let's reload this toy box. There we go. Definitely the worst part of Aerosmith is just waiting to get the ball onto the flippers so you can do something you want to do with it. Shoot the center ramp, let's shoot the right ramp as a combo, and let's end, end of the line here on the crank it up shot. Okay, crank it up's lit. For a million, you get a little bonus, 20 more seconds. And now you can see only the ramps are lit. And if I can keep comboing these ramps, a few 
juicy. It'll be worth a lot of points. Let's see if I can hit. Oh, close, close, close. You can backhand that one. I promise you. There we are. Look at that backhand. Doesn't look like it'll work at all, and I didn't see anyone attempt it at nationals, but it definitely works on the pro. Um, the ramp sits super low, which lets you do it. Let's go for center ramp. There we are. Right ramp. Okay, it's not showing me my point totals, but if anyone's looking at my score, it should be going up a lot. 2.3 million. Missed the combo. I've got the flower up the top left. It says only one shot's left for the mode. But... Oh, I went for the back end on the fly. That was silly. There we are. As you can see, I can still shoot the mode shots. 5.8 million. What's that? 6 million? Who even knows? Look, I'm getting huge points out of this mode. I mean, that's it. But that's that can be a really huge mode. And if I got the bottom target here, I could have gotten a shot multiplier on one of the ramps, which would have doubled again. You can get 10 million a shot. If you play that during multi ball, you have multiplier. You can get 20, 30 million a shot. Yahtzee, what's up? What's up, Rubber Ducks? Not that we don't love your pretty face, but I consider making the DMD cam bigger. The better aspect, more detailed LCDs. Making player cams smaller. Ah. Uh, all right, thanks. <laughs> I'm not gonna change it now. So now what do we got? We've got a... Uh... Let's try to beat Last Child. Let's see how I can get back to loving an elevator multi-ball. I don't know how challenging this is. So last child is your uh, super orbit mode, if you complete it. Walk this way, super ramps end because the ball ended. So I don't have a chance to play those again. Let's go for the orbit. No, I'm not making shots. Oh, look at that. Forget if that was ball three. I think it was. All right, another high score there. So that's a little bit about Aerosmith Pinball.